hi, um, I'm Jan Campbell. I'm based at Southport Community Centre. I'm one of the staff here as part of Steph and CBS. I think it's been a really good thing that we've had an energy efficiency survey done on the building. And I think like many community centres, you know, we've got a couple of really big halls um, that both have quite high ceilings. This building had a number of functions before it became a community centre, I think. And so the, these are big rooms with very high ceilings where you have potential for a lot of energy wastage and energy inefficiency. The building itself is also quite old now as well. And so some of the, the windows are maybe not quite as, um, as energy efficient as some of modern double glazing and you know, now triple glazing. So I think it's really useful for places like this to have energy efficiency um, surveys done, particularly as you know, what we can learn from that is how we can use the resource that we've got more effectively. What we'll be looking at is um, trying to identify the efficiency of the boilers and, and any energy efficient measures that are relevant to the building. We'll also be looking at the windows to see if we can identify if any improvements can be made. These ones are actually double glazed, so, um, but we will be looking at all of them just to see if there are any single ways that we can replace them. Great. Identify uh, how much energy the building is using per metre squared. In the chapel area, we've identified that the roof may not be insulated, so it's uh, it's important to to, to get it insulated. Uh, but we don't know about the viability or costs, but we just recommend that it's that it's done. Identified that this building there's no loft insulation in the property, so all the heat is just going straight through the roof and out and leaving the building. So it's, it's, it would be very beneficial to install loft insulation in this property. I input all the data onto a recognised um, software called OrCalc to uh, calculate the savings and efficiency levels. Uh, I think a lot of us at the moment are thinking about our own domestic heating bills and about how we, we try and cut down on what we're spending at home but you know I think as um, community organisations really we've got a, a duty to think about how we're using our resources within the community so I think you know, if we're looking at how we're spending money on heating and lighting and on the, the fabric of the building making our buildings as low in terms of their environmental impact as possible then you know i think we're doing a service to our community in that way 